Watch me. Now are you gonna fix this mess? Simple. Easy. Curfew's after. Harvey, snap out of it. We all need to snap out of it! Sorry. S sorry about that, Bruce. I guess I got a little lost there. I'm probably not getting enough sleep these days. Look, we're both under a lot of stress right now. We, we should be able to lean on each other. Stronger together, right? It's the only way. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. If anyone finds out or thinks I'm not fit to be mayor... Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were going to show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. Nothing is ever this easy, especially not when you're a reporter. I said I'd be here, didn't I? Uh, good to know. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. Gotham needs to know how dangerous the children of Arkham really are. You are hiding the truth. Huh. My editor says the physical copies are practically sold out. I'd say the truth is getting out there. It just may not be the side you like. 
But that's why I'm here. To get the other half I'm missing. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. The children of Arkham hurt you too. They don't deserve your protection. Hmm, that's not up to me to decide. I have to remain unbiased. Something you should learn to do. What does that mean? I'm talking about Bruce Wayne. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone. Except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. I'm not here to talk about Bruce Wayne. Look, I came here to meet you. I didn't have to do that. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people want to know. There are bigger threats to Gotham out there. The children of Arkham. I have to deal with them first. You're doing what you think is right. I get it. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> we are not done. We had a deal. You're right. You upheld your end. God, I could lose my job for this, but... Here. This is where we met for the interview. Just please, don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark, quiet, it's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. One of the children of Arkham. Loyalty doesn't get you much with these people, does it? Seems strange. There's something else. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... There's so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So, how did it get in his body? He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. It outlived his usefulness, I suppose. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. A detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This depot is pretty centrally located. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? I'm looking into the transportation database now. Sir? There's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour.
These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. They're manufacturing the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. Traces of both chemicals here. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Good thing you reduced their supply at the construction site. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming. Take cover. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. We're down to our last few barrels since Batman screwed up the transfer. We'll have to make do, I guess. Okay, you two, get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, 
You're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobblepot. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready! Come on! Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. 
Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? Uh, what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. Yeah, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. <laughs> I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. I feel like I owe you anyway. That's twice now. You just keep adding things to my list, don't you? Selena. I told you I don't like owing people. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader. I had a plan. I was there tracking the children of Arkham. And I had no idea you'd be there. Must have been quite the surprise. Yeah. Yeah, it was. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? The dynamic duo fighting crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. <laughs> okay, she really doesn't like you. I'm not sure I care much for her either. Way to win her over. T cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something just beneath the surface. You're wrong. There are good people out there. Honest people. Care to introduce me to one? Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world and won't let anyone else see. I don't have any secrets from you. You know, I have heard that a thousand times, but you might be the first to actually mean it. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. That's not all you are. I think that's just what you want people to believe. You put a lot of faith in someone who doesn't deserve it. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town. The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... Nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. Right. Hmm. This is nice. Did you mean to say that out loud?
I'll make it up to you. Do I have to do all the work myself? Or are you gonna undo this for me? I think I'd rather watch you. Hey there. I'm starving. Well, I guess that means I'm making breakfast. Wow. You even know how to work a toaster, rich kid? I am offended. Oh, too bad. I think there might be bagels in the fridge. Would definitely check expiration dates on anything. Before you think about putting it in your mouth. Bruce? Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I'm sorry, I didn't mean to worry you, Alfred. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. Well, that certainly explains it. You got something to say, Alfred? I'm not judging you. Sounded like you were. I wouldn't dream of it. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. I trust her, Alfred. That's all I need to know. If you're sure, at the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, the Gita Govinda. That's academic. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? <sighs> Vacation spots are just marks on her burglary checklist. Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Ah. Harvey. Hey. I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. 
Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... You... I can't believe Just this! Down. Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! None of it was real anyway. God, how could you ever think it was? None of this is about you, Harvey. What? So I'm just making this up? Yes, you are. This had nothing to do with you. He... He will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... Get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? You can't stop them! He can't. I can handle the children of Arkham. <laughs> of course. Yeah, Bruce Wayne can do anything. Everything Harvey couldn't. He thinks he's so much better! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Oh my god. This... This is the monster they all know that you are. Embrace it! No! No! Oh god, this is what you wanted to see, isn't it, huh? The freak! Harvey... Yeah. Alright, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's gonna make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course. Gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny. No. No, it really isn't. Bruce, looks like you're first. Selena. No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone. You know we can take him out. <sighs> Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. Come on, Harvey, that's enough. Please, not with him. But I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay? Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selena. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. 
help you can't give it. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. Yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. Yeah, that means you too. We won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today. Somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. No, uh... I need to keep my composure, bide my time. If I start spilling secrets, I'll just look desperate. I guess you're the businessman. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. Thank you for being so cooperative about all this, Bruce. It really is for the best. For everyone, really. I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please. Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. Of course, Regina. Whatever I can do to help. That's good, Bruce. Trust us to sort this all out. Everything will be fine. Already then, we are going to make quite a splash today, aren't we? I don't think I'm ever going to forget this day. It's beautiful weather, corporate intrigue, a well-deserved comeuppance, a noble hero riding in to save the day. Happy to be here too, Oz. Really? Thank you, Bruce. I appreciate you being such a professional. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please. Stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny and we've all how everything I said to you in the park has come true? Me, and take it everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. Oh dear, not even close. We have no one's gonna follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. The children of Arkham handed you this coup, Oswald. You didn't earn any of it. Who cares? It never really matters how a king comes to sit on his throne, Bruce. The only thing that matters is that it's his bum warm in the chair. This is just the first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Waynes, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're gonna have. 
All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I'm sure you're just dying to hear it. I don't need to know why. Hill had them killed, that's all that matters. Well, I certainly didn't expect that. But suit yourself. Now you'll never know what part your mum played in it. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, in light of recent allegations against my family, I have decided to voluntarily step down as CEO of Wayne Enterprises. I was horrified to learn of my father's corruption. I am ashamed of his actions and would like to apologize to Gotham for the pain he has caused so many of you. I'm sorry. That's it, mate. I have complete faith in the board as they work towards righting the wrongs of the past. With that, I am excited to announce Oswald Cobblepot. He's an international entrepreneur with a Gotham legacy. He is by far the best candidate to replace me. <laughs> You're too kind. The company is in great hands. Oswald will lead Wayne Enterprises and Gotham City into a new era of financial prosperity. And so with that, Oswald Cobblepot. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Bruce. You did very well. Great words from a great man. I would first like to express my deepest gratitude for the man I'm replacing. Nice statement. The press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. I did what I felt was right. Yeah, well, someone has to. I just didn't think it'd be you. Dropped your pen. That's not... You feel that? That's a drug taking hold of you. Don't fight it. You? You're with the children of Arkham. No. I am the children of Arkham. I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. And you already know the Penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, the smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we can just get one more round of applause for my best friend, the man of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Wayne. <sighs> Ouch, someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice?